Hello YouTubers, today I got something here different to show you that you haven't seen on this channel before but have seen everywhere else. I got two EST speaker strobes. They're not the fire alarm version. They, these are the alert version. The alert. Now I picked up two of these on eBay. Two of these for 25 bucks. Not a piece. All together. So it's a great deal for great deal for these because these are usually expensive for just one sometimes if there's not a great deal already now these they're not that difficult to hook up you have s plus s minus so that's your strobe power which these require at least 16 volts to go off and then you have the c and then the speaker kind of abbreviated that's for the speaker in this, which I have this one open here to show you what the speaker looks like. Yep, that's what it looks like inside one of these. It's clear. You can see that orange stuff there, which is called the spider. And then you can see your little tinsel leads coming off of the little terminals inside the speaker. Very flat, not bassy. But what do you expect? These are not going to be very powerful. Here's your little miniature size 70 volt step down transformer I bet that speaker is probably 8 ohms but and I think in here there's a filter cap because it definitely filters out quite a bit of the bass which the audio people say DC filtering it filters all that out now I have these two hooked up in parallel so they both will go off I don't have the strobes hooked up at the moment because I don't have a power source over here for that but this is just meant to be a little lab test now I've been using these as computer speakers yeah I've been using them as computer speakers during the week but now I'm ready to finally build something to put these in use I am thinking of leaving one of these in this room and then putting one way in the back of my shop maybe in the future put one under the eave right next to that wheel lock alarm mount in the eaves now, I'm not using a actual 70 volt amp here, but instead what I'm using is this cheapo computer speaker amplifier stage here. Now I actually took the speaker out because I already bodged it a few times in the past, so I have no use for this right now until I thought about this yesterday. So what I have going on here is the red and this black with the pink stripe on it was to this speaker that used to be in this enclosure which was rated for 3.5 ohms so what I did instead I cut that out I spliced these two wires and I have this external line coming out going straight to this transformer in between now what's going on here this was a 6 volt AC type transformer Usually you can find these in older brick power supplies like this, this. Now not definitely not these type of power supplies. And the way you can tell is the voltage rating. I, I don't know if you can see it on the screen. If this is rated for 100 to 240 volts, this is a switching mode power supply. These will not work. The ones that are rated for 120 volts and that has a, quite a bit of weight in them. That's your best place to find one of these transformers. Sometimes you can find them in old alarm clocks, old beat it up boom boxes. They're all over the place. You just gotta look. Old electronics. I have like dozens of these around here because people have given me boxes and boxes of cords over the years. So I acquire a bunch of these. And you can tell by the prongs here. Now, of course, I will cut these prongs off. They're no use. Just cut off with the Dremel tool. Now, I believe this was a 6-volt AC transformer the last time I remembered. So what I have going on is I'm injecting the audio signal coming from the amp here straight to the secondary windings. And then from here, I'm this is my output, which is coming out of the primary. Because when you, for instance, if I were to hook up a 6-volt lantern battery on these two, I would get around 100 volts. Out of the second not the secondary the primary but the current wouldn't be very good or your amperage 
But this is good for audio stuff because these two are not 3.5 ohms. These use 70 volt transformers. So that makes the this boosts the signal up quite a bit. And these are really quiet if you try to hook up hook <laughs> these directly to a cell phone because I've seen people do it on the internet and they're not very loud. Because again, it's not there's a transformer in between and it's not designed for that. So that's how I'm making this. That's how I'm that's how I'm making this amp work with those. And it won't hurt this to be honest. Cuz usually an amplifier like this, very simple like this Ratson amp that you've seen in the past works a similar way. Has a big output transformer. This one's a very miniature sized output transformer. So, and now what's going on here, there's one of those boards that I used to use for my intercom tones quite a bit, which I no longer use because I have, my system's been replaced with the UPAM. Which has its own built-in tone, so I no longer need this. So it's just laying around. So I finally found a use for this once again. Here's my input going straight to the speaker here. This this old computer amp, computer speaker amp. There's an IC right in the middle of your screen in that heat sink. I'm not it's not gonna be bass heavy or anything, so so now what I'm gonna do this requires 5 volts to run hooked up this USB to this extension cable that runs all the way back to that outlet that has USB ports which by the way great great to have around the house you don't have to dig for cell phone chargers and now when I touch these two wires together it's gonna obviously play the whatever file you put on your audio file I am thinking of using these as a weather alert type system because we have a bunch of nasty storms this time of year. Which really has been calm for the most part, but I know at some point it will get nasty because it's monsoon season here in Arizona. We have always lightning threats around here, so... That's what I'm going to have these two used for. One will be in here, one will be in the shop. Obviously, I'll, I'll figure out the relay situation so the strobes can go off, which I'll show you that at a later date once this project is completed. So, yeah, sorry about the mess, but here's my blue wire, and here's the yellow wire. This is the trigger. You can adjust the volume. Shelter. Severe thunderstorm warning. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued. Please be Seems to work just fine. Shelter. Severe thunderstorm warning. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued. Seems to work just fine. Severe thunderstorm warning. Now if you're wondering about that audio that you that you just heard, I did make that out of a combination of two different audio files that a couple of my subscribers sent me in the past. And I have so many of those files now. Sometimes I like to get creative and I merge one with another on Audacity. And I edit them down and then once I find the right rhythm, then I copy and paste that rhythm multiple times. I made this one approximately an hour long, so, which, which in most cases I will never have this thing on for an hour long, probably like a few minutes, but it's there just in case, because you never know, somebody's mother nature can be unpredictable. So yeah, that's, this is my next upcoming project here, definitely have to show you guys more stuff on the intercom system at some point. Now I did actually hook these up to the UTI-1, which it sounds pretty good. Not bad for paging because obviously some of these systems have a little onboard microphone where you just talk into them. And the reason I know that is because I used to go to another school that used the fire alarm versions of these and they used to talk through these. 
after the fire drill was over there so you could return back into the building. That's how I know that. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And definitely stay tuned for more. I got a lot of stuff to show you here. So I got this hooked up to two 9 volt batteries to make 18 volts DC. Now what I do notice is these two stay in sync at all times without a sync module. I thought I might, I thought I might throw this in for you guys so you can see see this in action. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe.